Well, did you think you'd get five wickets on debut? Uh, no, no. Um, yesterday was obviously a pretty tough slog um, out in the heat and it wasn't much cool today, but um, we all came out well and bowled to, bowled to our plan today and um, yeah, picked up the last six wickets for, for about where we wanted them, so things are good. you feel us with your, your career best effort today? Yeah, I'd say so. Um, obviously started the summer very well in the limited overs formats, but to do it in the test match is yeah, something I'd always dreamed of. Pete? Was there much discussion uh, about the bowling team's performance on the first day? It considerably better today. What, and what was discussed? Yeah, yeah um, obviously we, we started a bit hesitant, I guess, and, and through the middle we bowled really well. Um, Towards the end, obviously, saw some of our worst bowling, so um, it was in patches on day one was good, but we obviously came out today, this morning, and, and bowled beautifully, I think a bit fuller, and made them play that, that full stump line, which is which is our plan, So um, and, and we got a few nicks through the CADs, so yeah, plan worked. Did the captain give you, you guys a spray before playing? Uh, no, 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 just, uh, just encouragement, and um, no, he was very good. Um, Josh, how um, what does this sort of do for your confidence? Because I know leading into the test, you felt like you'd never been better prepared to make your test debut. So to now deliver on that, you know, how, how do you feel about that? Yeah, it obviously gives gives me massive confidence. Um, I felt like I was bowling very well, um, even though it was with the white ball. Um, only playing the one shield game this year, coming into this game, but um, the ball felt like it was coming out the best it ever has. So. Um, and now to put a performance like that on the board in a test match is, is yeah, very good for the confidence. Josh, here. Yeah. Uh, how would you describe this wicket? Because so many boundaries from both the sides, but still fast bowlers are getting good help. And is the heat uh, working on this wicket? The Brisbane uh, heat? Yeah, obviously it was, it was pretty tough yesterday and today. But yeah, the wicket, um, I think is if you bowl well, you can obviously take wickets as we've seen, and, and if you bowl poorly, they can the, the boundaries just uh, rack up. So uh, it, it's a tough wicket to bat on to start on, I think. Yeah, but once the batter gets in, it's they can really cash in. Bing, Rob, Marty, Greg, Nearly. Um, Josh, I just uh, last night, mate. After the, all the cramping and all that, um, yeah, what was last night for you? Did you sort of yeah, it was in obvious. a bucket of yeah, 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 pretty much. Um, there was obviously a lot of fluids was the main thing, um, but the, the physio room was a bit of a casualty ward last night. But um, yeah, we obviously all did what we needed to do um, recovery-wise and um, to, to perform today. So um, yeah, credit to the doc and, and to the physio and everyone who was part of it. So yeah, it was, it was good from, from the staff. We had um, BJ in here yesterday saying he noticed some of the Australians sulking in the uh, in the field on day one. Were you aware of those comments this morning, and, and what's your response to them? Uh, oh, I don't think it was sulking. We were just <laughs> trying to trying to get through as best we could. But um, yeah, it was it was hot, but everyone knows that, and that's that's part of Test cricket. You got to perform in in all conditions and um, and perform the best you can. Uh, Josh, can you, uh, Alex said that you were yesterday sort of cramping sort of all over. Can you just talk us through that? Is, have you ever experienced that before and, and just how, how hot it was yesterday? Yeah, I'd never experienced cramps like that before. Um, he thought maybe a bit of tension in the morning, being a bit nervous, contributed to that. So, um, yeah, it was, it was pretty painful at the time, but um, obviously got out there today and, and got through it. So I was obviously very happy with how I bowled today. And to come out the other side of it, um, yeah, very happy. I was just going to ask about the cramps as well. I mean, what what can you learn from this? We see a 23-year-old fit young fella and he's broken down on day one. I mean, is is that a preparation issue? Or you mentioned nerves. I mean, what what can you take from that? Yeah, uh, I I obviously prepared as I do normally. Um, hydration was was very good on day one, the morning of day one. So um, I, I can't really improve that but um, yeah maybe during the day or, or things like that you can do little things here and there to, to help but um, yeah it's just one of those things I guess. Nearly. Mentally how, how tough was it to prepare for a debut given what you had to go through beforehand because I'd imagine it's tough enough just to prepare for a debut and you also didn't have the workload up considering everything that happened. Yeah it was uh, the workload was obviously very good before that but um, we had a week or week and a half there with not much cricket um, I, I did a fair bit of bowling in Adelaide when I was 12th man, so that, that obviously helped. And 
Um, I felt like, yeah, as I said before, the ball's coming out beautifully and um, the rhythm and everything's there. So, um, yeah, the confidence is sky high. Uh, Josh, how nice was it to have your, your mum and dad and brother and sister and girlfriend in the crowd? They obviously made the drive up. And did you sort of see them there at all? Have you got to spend any time with them over the last few days? Yeah, I've spent a bit of time with them. Um, it's awesome to have them here, um, especially out when the cap got presented by, uh, by Glenn. So um, it's great to have the family here, and um, that's what Cricket Australia is all about, is, is family. So, um, yeah, to see them, or oh, sorry, for them to see me um, perform today was, yeah, very proud.